And if you had just two weeks to make an award-winning short film, do you think you could do it? We could not. I don't even think I could make a <laughs> short film, yeah. let alone award-winning. <laughs> Well, that was the challenge facing video production students at the Career and Technical Education Center last month. Competing against high schools from four central California counties, students at CTEC submitted their work to the first annual Porterville Film Festival. And 17's Chris Burton is in studio with a look at how it went. Chris? Yeah, well, normally film festival season begins in the early spring around February or March. This is the first time this class has submitted a festival in the first semester, but maybe they should more often. I was, I was really surprised. We were kind of just shocked. We didn't expect it. It wasn't a win they saw coming. Uh, when I announced the first place winner, I will never forget the look on the faces of those three gentlemen. It was just, it was just shock. But for their teacher, former Bakersfield anchor Lisa Kirsch, it was recognition of what she already realized. I know their work is good. I do. But when you have somebody else tell them that their work is good, it's, it makes it makes a big difference. Students at the Career Technical Education Center cleaned up at the first annual Porterville Film Festival last week. Amrit Singh, Ethan Cruz, and Mustang Nuruddin won first place for their film, The Smells That Remind Me. I can still smell the scent of green apples that he would always eat. While another foursome took third for moving on. You're being super rational right now. No, no, you're the one being irrational. The festival was the first for many of the students. It was exciting because I've never gotten a chance to really make a film before and do anything like this, so it was really exciting. But there are more on the horizon. We are going to be competing for public service announcements, uh, short film competitions. JJ's Legacy will be in, and my students will be doing a public service announcement for a scholarship. Um, it's just we just have a packed schedule. Now the students begin work on a public service announcement project. The theme hopes for 2022, which, although they might not say it, likely includes some more festival hardware. In studio, Chris Burton, 17 News.